Good morning. Welcome to the Public Affairs Show. It's Allie Faith from 103.7 KISS FM. And today on the show, I am having another guest that I've had on before. You may have heard him if you've heard the show. Uh, Jim Brzezinski, welcome back. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have you back because I had you on last year because you are from Tayback Law. That's right. right. That's exactly right. You are right. a lawyer, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I did that. Yes, and Tayback Law is located where? Well, we have two offices. We have one in Glendale mm-hmm. off of Green Bay Avenue. And mm-hmm. then where I work is right across from the VA hospital on 48th mm-hmm. and National, where we handle uh, mostly ven- veteran benefit claims. Mm-hmm. Yes, which is what I talked to you about before, was all the different ways that you can help benefit uh, veterans or that veterans can look for help yes, or aid. Exactly. We, we talked about all of this, and we can touch on that a little. Um, but I wanted to bring you back in because there's just so many different areas that people need help with, um, whether they're unemployed and not just veterans, maybe someone's sick or unemployability benefits. We want to kind of get into all of this and options for people and just kind of educate and awareness um, – whether they come to you or, or just need help, what to do with that. Sure. Right. Yeah, there's a ton of different things out there. And, you know, when you're when you're talking about someone who has worked all of their life and then all of a sudden something happens mm-hmm. um, or even just something happens early on and they aren't able to work because of a disability or sickness, you know, that really affects people oh. in, in a huge way. I can't imagine because you have, first of all, your income right. gets cut. That is hard. And then you're not doing your everyday routine, which makes yeah. people actually okay. A, a routine is important for right. a lot of people. Yes. And, so and, I get that. And there's Mentally, a, it's got to mess with you. Oh my gosh. Mentally, yeah, it's got to be horrific. Sure. Yeah. You know, we all the time um, are referring people who are in these situations to get mental health treatment uh-huh. on top of whatever their physical they're ailment might be. Because they're depressed or stressed out, having anxiety probably because of the unemployment situation. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, someone who, especially when you've got someone who has an identity as being, you know, either they were in the military and mm-hmm. they did this, you know, insane job for the military. Yeah. And it becomes part of your, your yeah. yeah, who you are. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's not mm-hmm. just military people. That's everyone. You know, if you've been a construction worker all your life yeah. or you've been a lawyer no, I get or whatever. It. I get it. Know? I imagine, yeah, same thing. If I, I've been on the radio for 25 years, yeah. if you if I stopped doing that every day, it would be very yeah, strange. Yeah, like imagine if you, like, yeah. Austin lost your voice and you couldn't talk Oh, anymore, my gosh. And, you know? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm cringing. Exactly. I get it. Yeah. yeah so, so you were talking about people's livelihoods right. and, and what they do and what they know. So, Jim, I'm talking to Jim Tayback, or Jim Tayback. <laughs> I'm talking to Jim Brzezinski from Tayback Law. Yes, I if, knew if Fred Tayback wants to adopt me, <laughs> like, I, I will definitely take that offer. Hear that, Fred? No, no, he, he can do that. But um, we're talking about unemployability benefits. And so you get a lot of veterans. We talked about that coming yes. in and you'll help them if they have issues. Um, so talk to me about what if someone's, because you're right across from the VA, right. what if someone is is just sick? What is And what are people experiencing and what kind of help is there sure. for them? So there's a couple of things, you know, depending on how sick or how injured they are, you know, the question is, are you able to work in some type of position, maybe not what you've always done, or are you so okay. bad that you cannot work at all? Because okay. there's there's different things you would want to do depending on that. You know, if let's say let's say you're a construction worker and you have a bad back mm-hmm. and now you can't lift, but mm-hmm. let, let's say you still have the mental capacity where maybe you could be a, do an office job or sure. you know something like that. Well, there's um, there's definitely what's called um, voc rehab or vocational rehabilitation. Okay. Um, and if they're if you're a veteran, they have voc rehab through the VA. Okay. If you're not a veteran, you can go to the Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development, and they're very similar systems. The actual benefit is a little different, but how they get to their decision is similar. Okay, um, and where is you say go to the, the I have to stop you the Department of Workforce Education uh, Departments of Workforce Development. Oh, or, development. I'm yeah, sorry. So, Fill me in on this. Yes. So this is uh, it's a state agency. They have offices all over the okay. uh, all over the state in many of the big cities. Or yeah. you can do everything online now. You know, you can go to oh. dwd.wi.gov. Perfect. And you can f- fill out an application there. There's one in Milwaukee. I think it's on. Uh, I think it's right across from the museum okay. um, in the state office building. So you contact them. You contact them. Okay. And, and if, if you're, if, and this, these are for people who 
maybe yeah. can't do what they used to do, but would like to do something. If you still have the ability to work, but you can't do the physical part of what you were doing before, exactly. then you would contact right. the yep. workforce development. Yeah, and okay. what they'll do is um, they'll start off usually by doing a bunch of testing just to see, okay, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are some of the jobs that could okay. potentially fit in with your strengths and weaknesses that also are compatible with restrictions you might have. Whether That's, it be I like, didn't know any of this. Yeah, yeah, no, and it, I it's, didn't know it's that a good people, program. That they're, I mean, it's fantastic, and this kind of stuff should be in place. Yeah. It's fantastic that people who have who can't work because of an injury or whatever, who but still are mentally okay and can do something else mm-hmm. for that company, have places to go or just uh, somewhere that can test them and find out, help them, help them get a job. Yeah, you know? exactly, because... You know, not everyone who is disabled wants mm-hmm. to just, you know, and they're sit just, at home. Yeah, sit at home. and, and they there's some people work, who yeah. legit who cannot, cannot work. Yeah. I agree with you on that. Yes, uh, and those agree people, with you. you know, they need the benefit. But mm-hmm. for some who maybe just can't do what they used to do, you can get retrained, and mm-hmm. that that can come in a lot of different forms, up to and including a college degree. They might help you. Oh both my gosh! Financially, or I was gonna say, like, so then what happens? They go in and they maybe they'll test you yeah. at the workforce development, and then they will help you even go to college. That's what I was gonna say. What's the next step then? Yeah, they, they sometimes they'll go to college. Sometimes it's just a matter of okay, you know, you just need some computer training. So the DWD uh, might offer these classes, like here's how to use Microsoft Office, here's cool. how to manage a Windows environment and right. be able to save files and do this it and that. basically educates you for a different position if you've been injured or yeah. can't work, and then they'll help you get one that you can do. That's interesting. Yes. If you didn't have those skills, you get them there. Yeah, and we actually, wow. at Tayback Law, we actually, um, right now we have an employee that was through a, we got through a uh, DWD program who is legally blind. DWD, tell everyone what that stands for. Uh, Department of Workforce Development. Thank yeah. you. Okay, I'm just uh, good yeah. for people that are yep. listening. Yeah. So we have a we have an employee who's great. She's uh, she's legally blind, but uh-huh. um, the Department of Workforce Development helped us get accommodations for her. So <sighs> they helped us yeah. get a, uh, a a device that hooks to the computer and it actually reads the mm-hmm. words to her. Okay. You know, she's got headphones on, listening to yeah. it. And she does a great job, and we love having her. Yeah, and, you know, she yeah. just she overcame her, her yeah. disability, and she got some help. Yeah, yeah, so, that's great. And that's the type of thing that they can do. And the VA has it. The DWD Defar- Department of Workforce Development mm-hmm. has it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and you guys, you know, last time I had you on, Jim Brzezinski from Tayback Law, talking about unemployability benefits. Last time we talked about how you guys help veterans who are having trouble. Um, let's hit that up again, though, the veteran yeah. situation, because you will help veterans in all kinds of situations. Absolutely. Tell us again if they when they should come to you if so, they're having problems. Veterans, you know, find us to be most helpful uh, when they've had some sort of case that they we're, are fighting the VA and mm-hmm. it's and it's hit a roadblock. Okay. Um, a typical case that comes to us that we can really provide value is when it's been denied several times and the reason for that denial is that they got a medical opinion from the VA that is yeah. um, not favorable to their claim. So mm-hmm. what happens is, let's say you- They hurt, basically lost their case. Yeah. yeah. So let's say you uh, hurt yourself in the military mm-hmm. and then- now you're out of the military, mm-hmm. and that same body part has a permanent disability now. Okay. Maybe it didn't then, you know, maybe it seemed like it healed, but, you know, now mm-hmm. down the road, let's say let's say you hurt your knee. It's almost like finding out you have CTE years later, yeah, like exactly. a con- the concussion stuff. Right, because, yeah, but you don't know at the time, but then later you yeah. have, yeah, okay, so, got it. So what happens is sometimes with your body, you injure yourself, and it, it sort of heals to the point where it's not painful yeah. anymore, but there's that lasting internal kind of structural yeah. damage to mm-hmm. the joint, such as a knee, a back. Yeah. Now, 20 years down the road and you're working and you're doing your thing, living your life, and all of a sudden that same knee or back that you hurt in the military starts bothering you again. And it becomes you know, an issue to the point that you're having to have treatment. It's affecting they diagnose your life. you with maybe like arthritis in that joint. Um, well, then you file a claim for it. And the VA will say, okay, I see you hurt yourself in the military. Mm -hmm. I see that you've got this arthritis now. Now go see one of our doctors, Mm -hmm. and they're going to tell us whether your arthritis now came from Mm -hmm. that uh, injury in the military. Okay. And a lot of times what happens is- They get denied. They get denied. Yep. It's because that doctor looks at the medical records. They look at the- Mm -hmm. um, All kinds of reasons, yeah. And the biggest reason is that 
there's a, a gap, right? Uh-huh. Like of time. Yeah, which from the injury. Yeah. When you think about it, though, that's that's it makes sense that there would be that gap because you've got these young men who are injured, uh-huh. men or women. I was going to say, say, or women. My bad. <laughs> that's, oh, I, I'm man. with Sorry you, Jim. That. I'm with you. It's okay. So, We're talking uh, about the military. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah, so yeah. they they get injured. They come out. Yeah. Tough people. They say, okay, I'm I'm fine. I'm just going to deal with it. I'm just going to, you know, it might ache a little bit here and there, mm-hmm. but I can deal with it. I'm going to work. I'm going to live my life. Yeah. Well, it, with your body, as you age and you keep using it, it gets worse and worse mm-hmm. and worse. And then all of a sudden, 20 years down the road, okay, I can't mm-hmm. deal with it anymore. Well, now they're yeah. saying, well, hey, why didn't you go to the doctor right away when you got out if right. it was bothering you? Right. Well, most people don't when they're younger and yeah. you've got a little ache and pain, you just uh-huh. sort of- you know, rub absolutely. Some dirt on it and move yes. Forward. So, yes. You just go. Ah, oh, it's nothing. Yeah. So the VA doctors, I don't know if it's a the way they're trained or whatever, mm-hmm. but if they don't see a continuity of care, that's mm-hmm. and, and they'll say it right in the decision. No continuity of care. It's they're almost ninety nine percent of the time going to just say no. It's mm-hmm. not related. Mm-hmm. What we do is we have other me- medical professionals okay. who will look at the case. Yes. And. Look, more opinions. Get more opinions. Yes. And, you know, I, I can't always get a, a favorable opinion, but yeah. we can at least look at it um, and say, okay, well, why don't you give me statements about how the pain progressed? Mm-hmm. Get a statement from your wife who knew you when you got out of the yep. service and yep. can say um, that they saw this. Your parents. It's got to be hard. I get it. You, this stuff has not been documented. Right. Even though it's been happening, people have just been dealing with it, yes. not documenting it, but they're being honest. They have an honest problem mm-hmm. that could have come from when they served, you know, in yeah. the military. So then I get that. And so then you guys come in. So we come in and we. Tay Bag Law, you come them, in, yeah. you help them. And, and then, and you help them. Is it a situation? I don't want to get too into it, but like they don't pay unless you guys win, right? Oh, of course, right. So that's. That's yeah. like important for people to know because I think people go, oh, well, I got to go pay a lawyer now to fight the VA after I got denied. Yep. Well, no, you know, you guys are genuinely there to help. Not, yeah. And, and we um, we we don't get paid unless we win. And mm-hmm. also we take the minimum fee mm-hmm. that the VA allow. I shouldn't say allows because I, I mean, <laughs> but, you know, you take the minimum amount that so, you're allowed yeah, to take because for the, the service. I get it. The VA, you have to show that your fee is reasonable based on your work, and it's got to be Uh-oh. a percentage of your of the. That's got to be a percentage. Well, okay. There are some people who will charge forty percent of mm-hmm. the back pay as their fee, and they just will argue that that's reasonable. Okay. Well, if you charge twenty percent, which is what we charge of the back pay, the VA automatically assumes that that's reasonable uh-huh. so you don't have to argue for more okay. because it's such a small amount yeah you know, most personal injury are at least a third you know everyone else is charging more yeah. we, we take the minimum because i don't want to sit here and fight about why i deserve more money than you know what the law right. says you know is right. a reasonable amount it's not the point um but yeah because i've had i've had veterans come to me and say well i talked to this other and they were going to take like 40 percent or 50 percent of my back oh a pay. different and, lawyer was yeah. going to take a different amount like, no we take we take 20 you know, I feel bad sometimes that I have to, yeah, take, you have to take anything. Yeah, you take it at all, but, but ethically, you're, there's rules. And but da-da-da. now I, you know, and I've got 12, 13 employees that are, you know, I got to pay. So. Absolutely. You have, yes, you have a business yeah, too. So. But and you're helping. I mean, you're helping people oh, yeah. for yeah, free no, unless for sure. they win. So I get that. So if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Jim Brzezinski from Tayback Law. And yes, as much as you help people, you still have to take care of your own family. <laughs> exactly, I get it. I understand right, yeah. that. I understand that. So we've been talking about unemployability benefits. We've been talking about ways that you guys can help veterans and not just veterans. Um, Some of the unemployability benefits had, we were talking about just even if someone's sick or can't work, you know, or has an injury, um, you don't have to be a veteran for that. Right. So, um, so we've talked about that a little bit, but you are a great place to go if people are having issues and yes, don't know where to go sure. anymore. Yeah. Um, what's the biggest, biggest, uh, group of cases? Is it all, is it veterans, you know, who have lost their case? Is it unemployability oh, wow. benefits? What well, do you deal with the most or is it, is a span? Yeah, or- we, um, so we have three areas of our practice that okay. we help, and, yeah. they, and they all kind of fit into this, you know, these unemployability issues. We help injured workers with their workers' comp cases. Okay. Um, and, you know, that's something where a lot of people who are injured at work, mm-hmm. they they don't really know, especially about what the retraining <laughs> benefit, you know. Oh, I don't. Yeah, a lot of people don't know anything. Yeah, so yeah. they... They end up, they file for workers' comp. Uh Workers' comp gives them a check at the end. Uh And 
a lot of people think that's the end of yeah, it. Yeah, I, you know? I remember years ago, I mean, 20 years ago, I fell and hit my elbow doing something at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to, they paid for my doctor's yes. bills, but that was it. It was like, here's your doctor and we're done. So, yeah, so what else? So workers' comp, it has three, three benefits, really. There's the uh, pay for your medical, mm-hmm. which because of the way our medical system is, has over the past couple of decades has, you know, doubled and even tripled yeah. what the other payments yes. are now. Ugh. So so that's a huge benefit. Uh, then the second is lost wages. Mm-hmm. So oh, okay. uh, let's say you're off for two weeks. Well, you get in Wisconsin, you get paid um, two thirds of your average weekly wage as mm-hmm. your payment. So let's say you make 900 bucks a week. Normally, you're going to get 600 bucks a week, tax free mm-hmm. workers comp while you're mm-hmm. off of work. Mm hmm. Then the third thing is the permanent disability benefits. Mm-hmm. Now, there's there's a few different ways that works out. One is you get an actual disability percentage on your um, injury. So mm-hmm. they might say, okay, you had surgery on your knee. You've got a 5% permanent disability of the knee. Mm-hmm. And there's there's statutory minimums. Like if you have a fusion in your back, it's a minimum 10% mm-hmm. disability of yeah. your back. Um, so there's all kinds of benefits. There is, yeah. For and workers' then, comp that people don't even realize. Right. So and then on top of that, and here's what I was getting at before, like you might get your ten percent for your back and you might think, okay, well that's the end of it, but you're still to the point now you can't go back to your job or mm-hmm. you you know, you you uh, have to take a right. different line of work and you're making mm-hmm. less money. So on top of a ten percent, there's also what's called um, a loss of earning capacity benefit or a retraining benefit which you have to ask for. Those mm, are not- People wouldn't know about these things. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So you have to ask for it and you have to apply for it. Mm-hmm. So um, if you have a loss of earning capacity, what you can do is you can see a vocational expert who will yeah. say, okay, you know, you used to be able to make, you know, $1,000 a week. And now because of your back injury, you can't do your old job and your skills, you're only going to make $500 a week right. going forward. Right, right, well, right. that's a 50% loss of earning capacity and you mm-hmm. could get a benefit for that. Yeah. Or if you can't do- There's your, all kinds yeah, of- Yeah, you can go to your retraining and they'll yeah. pay for school and they'll pay for your- they'll Actually, if you if you get the retraining benefit, they pay for school and they'll pay for- um, They'll pay you your workers' comp benefit while you're in school. So it's Uh like you get a paycheck to go to school, basically. This is great. So, you know, I'm talking to Jim um, Brzezinski from Tayback Law. And if you're just coming in, we're talking, just kind of educating, giving people some awareness on just unemployability benefits that they don't know about, benefits for veterans, because you help a lot of veterans. You're right across from the VA in Milwaukee. So (laughs) people, they get denied. You can walk right over and they'll help you, um, which is great because it's free unless, you you know, you guys win the case. Right. Um, and that's important to somebody who doesn't have money and who's trying to is fighting a case that's sure. going nowhere. So I get that. So thank you for everything you guys do oh, when you thanks. help out in the community. Um, is there anything else before we go? I could talk to you for longer about some yeah. of this stuff because <laughs> I, I love how much in awareness you're giving and somebody might hear this that it's affecting them or affecting their parent or anyone sure. you know. You might be able so, they might be able to give good advice now. I guess just a just kind of a last thought yeah. is that you know, when you're dealing with your body these things can sort of be interrelated. You okay. know, let's say you hurt your back in the military. Okay. Well, now you're working and you're a construction worker. You hurt your back again in the same spot. Well, oh, okay. how does that? There's, there's, you know, because the uh, workers come and say, no, that was a military injury, pre-existing. VA is going to say. Oh well, it wasn't bothering you till you hurt yourself at work, and now they're going to say are that's stuck, not their problem. Yeah. Stuck in the middle, and mm-hmm. and and that's where having some people that really know how all and and Social Security can be an issue with that too if you're unable to really mm-hmm. do any work going forward. So um, having someone with the knowledge that can know how the different benefits you know relate to each other and the interplay mm-hmm. there is a big deal too you're there to help with all oh, of yeah. that because yeah, people absolutely. don't realize which is such a great resource yeah. you know so do people just call or come by if they want help from for sure you yeah and we love talking to vets yeah. um, and people in general and, yeah. and i always try to just even if i can't help someone i try to at least give them a step to put them in a better place mm-hmm. than they were prior to me. So they don't leave feeling me. like even more hopeless than when they, because they're coming in feeling hopeless probably. Yes, they're like, exactly. I'm, I'm at t- this lawyer's office because everything I've done has been denied. And there's some things I can't do that I have my referral group 
for okay. kind of all the issues that I oh. can't cover. So okay. even if I can't do it, I can I can get you to someone, someone who, who probably could. Can. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jim Brzezinski from Tayback Law. Thank it's you. great to have you back on the Public Affairs Show. Yeah, anytime. And uh, tell everyone the website and, and give both because you also gave the Department of Workforce Development. Yes. So let's give all of these. So first, if they want to come see you at Tayback Law, you're across from the VA across by Miller VA, Park yes. or in Racine, right? Uh, no, in um, oh, I said the Glendale. Wrong city. Yeah, Glendale. Jeez, I don't know why I got Racine on my that's mind. That's where I live, probably. That's, we were why, talking that's about probably that right. Yeah. We were talking don't about Racine. <laughs> <laughs> my wife will be mad at me. <laughs> that's funny. So Glendale, and then, but go ahead and give them the rest. Sure. Uh, so our uh, website address, it's mm-hmm. www.taybackattorneys.com. And we have like a form you can fill out if you're more oh, comfortable, perfect. you know, talking via, you know, digital yeah. text than on the sure. phone. We could do that. Um so the other the uh, for the Voc Rehab, um, if it's if you want to check out the state's benefits, it's www.dwd.wi.gov. Okay, a lot of great resources there. Or uh, I could just because that was a lot, and yeah. I know so I could Google. Department of Workforce Development. Okay, that's Wisconsin. good too. It'll I like to up. send people that way too. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, just Google it. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. I mean, if totally. you just, vo- I think probably if you looked for vocational rehabilitation or retraining, it would come, come up, up too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and then the VA's obviously got their own voc rehab department yep. too. So va.gov for that mm-hmm. if you'd like. Yeah. Um, but there's stuff out there, and and you know, I like to tell people too that the disability is like just one piece of a person's life, right? Yeah. That shouldn't be. The entire mm-hmm. part of it. And yeah. I really like it when I can figure out not only how to help them get their benefits, but how to help them have a, a good life. Yeah. Too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, so totally. We try to totally. do stuff like that. I like it. I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys do that for the community. Yeah. Like, thank you guys. So, sure. so Jim Brzezinski from Tayback Law, I'm sorry we have to go. <laughs> we would keep talking, <laughs> I but know. Uh, we'll have you back again to talk about more stuff and Great. maybe a different yeah. topic soon. Okay. Absolutely. I love right. that idea. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Thanks.